Patricia, California Organic Gardener. It's spring and the last frost date has passed. It's time to get tomatoes in the garden. So whether you're gonna plant your tomato plants directly in the ground or in your garden beds or in a container like this, it's really important to make sure you plant them very deep. And you notice these little tiny hairs on the main stem of the plant. These are gonna develop into the roots. Before putting the plant in the soil, I'm gonna snip off all these lower branches. You will have a healthier, more productive plant overall if the tomato has a chance to develop a large root system. We're gonna gently squeeze the pot, pop out the plant, fluff up the roots just a little bit, and put it in the hole. tomato plant is planted, I'm going to water it with some kelp extract, which comes as a liquid concentrate or a water-soluble flake. This is a determinate tomato, and even though it won't grow as tall as an indeterminate tomato, it's still going to need some staking. So a small bamboo stake and some staking tape is all you really need. So if you're going to plant your tomatoes directly in the garden, you want to make sure and plant them just as deep as we did in the container. Also, you notice the spacing. These are about three to five feet apart, and these are indeterminate varieties, and it may seem like a lot of spacing, but they're gonna need it because they're gonna grow all season and spread out. We're also gonna talk about support and fertilizing and protection from a late frost. I'm gonna top dress the plant with a little bit of azomite. Azomite is a great source of calcium, and tomatoes need calcium to prevent what's called blossom end rot. This azomite is a great source of calcium and 50 other trace minerals. I want to protect this plant from any late frost. A great way to do that is with this little wall of water. It's actually like a little mini greenhouse. So after there's no more danger of frost and the plant gets a little bit bigger, I'm going to support it with this tomato cage. Another pretty neat invention is this tomato crater. Fits right around the stem of the tomato plant and it does a few things. It will help conserve water and it will prevent the cutworms from getting to the stem. And studies have shown that because of the red color, it will also boost production. You're gonna put this on after all danger of frost is over. An easy method for supporting your tomato plants is this Horton Nova trellis. And you just pull it over the bed in a horizontal fashion, and the tomato plants can grow right up through it. You can also put it in a vertical fashion and use it for beans or peas. You can just attach it with a zip tie. So you've probably noticed I have a semi-permanent structure here made out of bamboo to support my tomato plants. You can also use the bamboo to make a little teepee and support each individual plant. No matter how you plant them, no matter how you support them, you're sure to enjoy your homegrown tomatoes. Grow organic for life.